What's up, my name is Jay and in this video I want to show you how I personally use Flexbox in my CSS code almost every day, all right? So right here we have a very simple HTML and CSS. So we have a container and we have inside this container two divs, all right? Um, each of these divs have uh, see a class of block and then the first one have a class of one and the second one have a class of two and that's it. We close the container. That's all we have, all right? Now in the CSS, I have very simple stuff like the container have a background color. It, it have a height of 400 pixels. Each block have a width of only 30 pixels. And then the class one have the color orange. That's why this text right here have orange. All right. And then later we're going to add some code here for responsive. All right. So I want to show you what I do almost every day with Flexbox. So my goal is center this both paragraph vertically and horizontally. All right. In my container, I'm going to add display. Whoops. Display flex. All right. Now we are using Flexbox. So you can see now that they are kind of floating. You can say like bootstrap framework or whatever framework you're using for your responsive stuff. When you add columns, you have it like this, right? So right now, if I duplicate this, let's copy and paste it right here. Look at this. So you can see that Flexbox is actually adding the columns that we can use and it's actually responsive. All right. So I'm going to remove that one. I just wanted to show you that if you keep adding more divs, they are going to keep adding themselves right there. Right now, I want to center both of this in the middle. So we're going to add justify content. And this is coming from Flexbox Center. And look at this. Now, both of the divs are centered. Remember, I am adding all this in the container. All right. And the container have these two divs. So parents and children. OK. Don't get confused. This is the parent, which it have all this Flexbox code, Flexbox code right now. And then the block is the child. All right. Now I want to center them vertically, which is very, very, I don't know. It gave me a headache every time I have to vertically center something in my CSS. But with Flexbox, the only thing you need to do is add aligned items center. Whoops. Sorry. There we go. Now this is center vertically and horizontally, both diffs. Now I'm going to add another one and let's see. Whoops. Copy paste. Look at this. Now we have those three columns vertically centered and horizontally centered. Super simple. Let's add a number three to this one. All right. Of course, we don't have like space between them. You can add some padding maybe or, or margin. Now, Flexbox have another one that you can use like in justify content instead of center. You can put space around. And look at this. Now we have some space created by Flexbox with no padding, no margins. But remember, you can add your own margin and your own paddings. But this is uh, something that Flexbox provides. So you can actually add some space between them. All right. And another thing that I want to show you is the order. Now, for some reason, I want this orange text to be here in the last one, in the last column. All right. So we have right, right now the one the class one, which is orange. What I can do is add order and put a number one. 
Now, this was a very confusing for me. It's like, why did you add it in number one and now it's last? Yes, super confusing at the beginning. I'm going to explain to you. Right now, this is zero, right? This one is zero, this one is zero, and this one is zero. And if you have, if you add another div, it's zero. So everything is zero right now. If I remove the order, they are all number zero, 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 everything is zero. So if I change any of those to one, that one is going to be last because now everything else is zero. So if I add order one, now this one is zero, this one is zero, and this one is one. All right. That's how it is. That's how, that's how I actually understand it. Uh, just imagine that everything is zero and if you add a one that one is going to be last now I can I can go and create like two and change the order to two color red and now we have zero one two and that's how it works this one's still zero. If I change it, then it's gonna change the order, but still zero. This one is one, this one is two, all right? If you're still confused, don't worry, I'm gonna post some links in the description so you can go and learn a lot more, okay? All right, now, in the responsive, I wanna change this to columns because as you can see, uh, they kind of stay, I mean, not columns, I wanna stack them just like uh, bootstrap or something like that. You can see right now that they still like that, which we don't want. So, and this is very simple. I'm gonna just create the container and create a container right here. Okay. And one very important thing is called flex direction. And you're gonna change it to column. All right, this is in 40 pixels, I mean 400 pixels. Let's see if it works. And here you go. We have the columns, all right? So now we have this, let's copy the block. Let's change it to 100% because right now it's 30. Okay, the container right, right now with the height is 400 pixels, we can change it to automatic okay so right now we are changing block to 100% flex direction to column and the height to automatic so let's see there you go perfect and of course they don't have space we can add some margin let's see 10 pixels for example we have some space for so you can play with that and um, they're gonna look awesome. So now you can see why a lot of people are saying, why do I need the bootstrap grid system if I can add Flexbox? And it's true, it's true. If you, are, um, if you are working on something simple like this, you don't need the grid system, you just use Flexbox. But uh, I mean, bootstrap have a lot of other stuff that people use, all right? It's not only a grid system. It have a ton of other stuff, all right? I just wanna throw that out. Yeah, this is what I do every day. If you wanna learn a lot more, this is not the only options that Flexbox have, but click on the links that I, I have on the description of this video. But yeah, this is awesome. Subscribe if you wanna keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.